All right, you're gonna love this one. We're gonna take a look at taking arrays several steps forward. We're gonna take two collections of data and sum them together to come up with our final answer. Let me give you an example here. And this is gonna be very powerful. So open in front of you, I've got the same example file, exercise file that we've been working in, but I'm on the sum array tab. Now here, I've got those names we were looking at earlier. I've got their goal amount, and I've got their assists. Okay. Martin Jones here, he's a goalie. Okay. His goals and assist amounts may not be very high. Okay. I've got zeros in there. I'm sure Martin Jones has probably got a few assists to his credit, so but I've got some zeros there. Now, what I wanna be able to do here is I wanna get a total team points. I want to get the sum of each player, their goals and their assists, each player, total that up, and then I want to get a total of those totals. How's that sound? Total up their goals and assists, and then total up all of them to give us the total team points. Now, we could do this. We could do it by creating a new column. I could hop into here and I could say uh, points, Right? And then I could quickly sum up each player, their points, get all that in there. Now I've got points for every player. And then I could sum up their point total and give me the total team points. What'd you think? That was a few steps. I had to total up each player, get the first one in there, copy that down, and then I had to sum up that, that total. It gave me 415 for the total team. Now I went through a few steps to accomplish that. Okay? But in reality, using an array, we don't need to do that. We could do it in one formula and get this total right here. So log that to memory for a moment. 415 total points this is goals and assists for each player. All right, let's get rid of this column. I'm just gonna delete that out of there. So and we're now gonna do all of that inside of one formula using an array that references two collections of data, two arrays of data. Take a look. So I'm gonna jump into F3. It's gonna be a formula. So I'm gonna get my equal sign in there. So now I'm gonna reference the goal array get that C3 to C12, and then I'm gonna add that, just some addition, to the assists range, or the assists array. There we go. So now we got C3 to C12 plus D3 to D12. Now once again, we talked about this earlier, if I hit my enter key right now, it'll evaluate the formula, but it's not gonna give you the correct results it treats it like a standard traditional formula. We have two collections. I need to be able to add up these, and then add up these, and then add up these, and so on. So here, I'm gonna do Control, Shift, Enter. Treat this like an array. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Control, Shift, Enter. Ooh, what's that? 47, that doesn't sound right. Well, it should, it should have been 457, right? Hmm. All right, all right. We got our two collections of data inside of there. There's a little bit more I need to do to this formula. So I'm gonna add all of those together, but I need to get the sum of the results. So I'm gonna bring in my sum function. I'm just gonna wrap all that goodness up inside of my sum function. So I got equal sum, open parentheses, and then those two arrays being added together. Now I'm gonna do a control shift and enter. There's my 415 results. Remember that number? I did log that away earlier. So we're adding them up individually, and then we're summing them all together, those collections of data, all within one formula. That's it. One formula and done. Earlier, I had to create a whole new column, I had to add them up, and then I had to add up those totals to give me the grand total. Complete it. Streamline your process. You're working with collections of data. Treat them like an array. 
have Excel streamline that and automate that process for you. Much quicker, much more efficient. So try that out. Jump in there, get a sum of the goals and the assists, and then sum up the results from there. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com and I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And Finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice and you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q and A's. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive Academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.